I'm Danielle M. Welcome to my channel today. I am super excited for this video and to show you guys what we're going to work on. You guys know we have this new house and I'm kind of going for this Scandinavian theme, which really has a lot to do with neutral colors and texture and I love all of that stuff. And also my own personal style is just very minimalistic. I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't like a lot of photos on the wall. Um, I just like things to be simple and easy. <laughs> and so with that being said, there is this one art piece that, that I have seen pop up from a few big brands such as Crate and Barrel, McGeehan Company, um, Pottery Barn, and then even some famous artists do this kind of artwork and it's always so beautiful it's very textural just like scandinavian style is and it's also very minimalistic and just neutral so i really loved it and i feel like it would look perfect in this house and also i think we can recreate it for next to nothing here's to hoping that it <laughs> works out because i've never tried this before i do love art and consider myself somewhat of an artist, but this is something I've never tried before, but I am excited to try it out, see how it works and show it to you guys. So we are going to be going to Home Goods to see if we can find a canvas already. I wanted a canvas that had a wood frame and I guess you can't just already buy those. I was thinking I could just find a blank canvas with a wood frame and I looked on Amazon and stuff and I could not find one. So my thinking is we can just go to home goods and find hopefully find a canvas print that's a good size that has a wood frame already around it if not we'll just get something with a different frame and paint it that is what i'm going to be looking for that's what i'm hoping for and then we're also going to go to michael's because i believe it is right next door to the home goods where i live and get some plaster of paris and some other supplies that we're going to need for this project so let's go even in the darkest night you shine so Okay, you guys got the big picture i was honestly so worried for a minute because number one they did not have a big selection like they didn't even have an aisle with pictures in it they had it kind of like up by the front when you're checking out some photos it was like they were gonna restock them or change where they put them or something i don't know it was real weird and so when i was looking through them at first it was just like these small ones and hardly any of them were either canvas they were like glass photos or they didn't have wood around them so i was like oh dang i'm gonna have to go somewhere else and then i just started you know how home goods just kind of like scatters things about with no purpose so i was like i'm just gonna walk around and i found that photo just in some random place um and i'm so glad i did because it's perfect it's like the perfect size it has a wood a light wood which is what i wanted surrounding it and honestly the print's not bad that's on it but we're still gonna change it so i'm sorry if you love the print but um i'm just gonna make it something that's more me and more for my house and i'm so excited so we're gonna go over to michael's right now we'll get the rest of our supplies hopefully they have everything we need and <laughs> and we'll be all set actually back home now and I'm just going to show you what I got from Michael's really quick. So we got the plaster of Paris and then I ended up finding two of these small wood frame canvases and I thought they were so cute and perfect and I thought it'd be fun to let the kids each do their own little, you know, art piece while I worked on my big one. So I got two of those and you guys, I was super shocked at 
the options of art that Michaels had, they had more good options for canvases and wood framed things. They actually had more options for canvases and wood framed things than home goods did. So if you're looking for like a medium sized piece, I would honestly just go to look at Michaels first because they really truly had more options. They did not have any framed pieces that were as big as the one I did get, so I'm glad I got that at Home Goods. But it would definitely be a good place for you guys to start if you're looking for something. Okay, and then I just got a couple of brushes. This one's a little bit of a firmer brush, and then this one is really, really soft. Um, just to go over the plaster of Paris when we get to that point. And then I got this roller set with other sponge brushes. And then I got, you will need some of these tool sets. I wanted one of the big ones, but the one that I showed you guys was like 20 bucks and I just, you know, I didn't want to spend $20 for the one that I needed. So I figured maybe I would have a kitchen spatula or something I could use if I need to, but I did get these two sets for the plaster. Okay, at this point, you're really just going to want to tape off your frame for your canvas. And I wish I would have done a little bit of a better job than I did because some of my plaster of Paris actually got onto my frame and my tape started to come up. So really make sure you have your tape on there really nice and tight and cover all of those edges because the plaster of Paris is hard to get off once it's on there. Okay, once your canvas is all taped off, you can get your plaster of Paris and you're just going to find something fancy like I did, which is a disposable pie tin and you're going to mix your plaster of Paris with water until you get a nice mud-like consistency. After a lot of trial and error with this, I found that I liked it to be a little bit on the wetter side for certain parts and a little bit on the thicker side for others. So you're really just going to want to play with it and see what you like and what's easier to work with for you. Okay, you guys, I am pretty dirty. Um, and as you can tell, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. When you get to this part, you just get whatever tools you want, whether they're kitchen utensils or not. And you just kind of layer and layer and layer until you like it, the texture. I'm not quite sure I'm done. I might mess with this a little bit more. But um, yeah, you just go until you like it. And then you're gonna let it dry for a full 24 hours. I actually saw one lady say that she let hers dry for three days think that we're gonna need to do that but we will check it tomorrow and see okay it's a couple of days later I've just been letting my canvas dry today I'm gonna be painting I'm just gonna be using this as like a little place to put my paints on and the colors I'm using is just this acrylic white paint I have some acrylic black paint and I actually have four different 
paints by Bear that are all different shades of beige. I'm actually contemplating what shade I want to paint these walls in particular, and it's going to be one of these beige paints. But these are just samples, so I'm going to actually use these because I really wanted my painting to be like a beige color and then also my white and a tiny bit of black. I just wanted to peek through a little bit. So I'm gonna get painting and show you guys the finished product. Okay, you guys, this is the finished piece. I still have to hang it up on my wall, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I really wanted white to show through. I really wanted different colors of kind of like these cream neutrals. And I did want some black, but not too much. And so I think it turned out really well. I hope you guys try this. You can seriously, you can do whatever you want. There's so many options. There's no right or wrong way to go about this. You can just, you can make a, a design if you want. You can make it as abstract as you want, as textured as you want. There's just so many different possibilities. It's easy for kids too. I hope this inspired you guys to do a little art project in your own home. I was also thinking this would be a fun act of kindness to ask a bunch of your girlfriends over or have like a little date night or even just for kids come over. It'd be a fun thing to do to host guests in your home. So let me know if you're going to give this a try and make sure you stay in the glow wherever you go. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank <laughs> you.